desperate for lack of cash. Meghan and Harry's dirty motive after 15-minute meeting with Queen exposed. Royal expert Daniela Elza said, Her Majesty only granted the Duke and Duchess of Sussex a 15-minute meeting when they were in the UK, raising the question of what motivated them to make the trip. According to The Sun on Monday, she only granted Harry and Meghan, Duke and Duchess of Sussex a formal 15-minute meeting during their recent trip to the UK, their first meaningful return since their bitter exit. As a source told the paper, it was a quick in and out job. It was all quite formal. I believe the technical term here is, ouch. However this news not only adds to the list of humiliations suffered by the Sussexes but also raises a very interesting question, why did they go at all? The ostensible reason for them to pack up their two small children, yoga mats and brace of burly bodyguards into a private jet and fly 8,500 kilometers across the globe was out of respect for the 96-year-old. Harry's profusion of respect for the Queen has been a recurring line we have heard over the last few years. He had too much respect for his grandmother to blindside her, he told Oprah during their incendiary interview, at another point declaring, I have a deep respect for her. She's my colonel-in-chief, right? She always will be. All this respect meant that despite the Grand Canyon worth rift with his brother Prince William, they wanted to be there to help celebrate Her Majesty's historic milestone. Meanwhile, Her Majesty's inclination to have the Sussexes be a part of the Jubilee looked like it could put it down to one part grandmotherly affection and one part pragmatism, safer to have the camera-friendly couple on royal turf during the Jubilee than left to potentially overshadow her from afar. But, Monday's Sun report about the 15-minute meeting throws that thinking out the window, only further underscoring the mystery of what motivated them to put themselves through the London ringer. So, if they knew they were only going to be given formal and very brief face-to-face -face time with Her Majesty, all with a whopping travel bill attached, why did the Sussexes go back? One possible theory here can be explained by Paddington Bear. The Queen and the adored children's book character co-starred in a heart-meltingly lovely video for the Jubilee, a PR win that one Walt Disney executive has told the Daily Mail was worth $350 million in free publicity for the owners of the Paddington franchise. What then might a photo of Lilibet and Lilibet have been worth? Not monetarily mind you but in terms of the invaluable boost it would have given the Sussex brand? Some serious uplift in the image department would not go astray right now with the couple's U.S. takeover losing steam. With the sum total of work they have produced while based in America consisting of one podcast episode and a children's book, both of which earned lackluster reviews, they are hardly setting the world alight. What makes them so prized to the entertainment behemoth aren't their novel ideas on humanitarian work but that they are a real life, living, breathing Duke and Duchess. It is their status as members of the Queen's family and their former place in the inner regal sanctum that made them such a valuable property. But, that value has only taken a nose dive since they signed their deal back in 2020 given their constant anti-palace rhetoric has only pushed them further and further to the outer reaches of the royal orbit. Which is where a photo of the 96-year-old Queen tenderly holding her one-year-old great-granddaughter would come in an image which would have instantaneously reversed much of the Sussexes' slide into royal irrelevance, putting themselves and their children smack bang back in the center of picture, literally and figuratively. It's hard to see Harry and Meghan and their kids returning to the UK again in the near future. The Sussexes might have renewed their lease on Frogmore Cottage recently, their Windsor home, but the chance of them pitching up via private jet for a fun-filled family getaway of Marmite sandwiches and rounders must be about zero.